What's up, everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And excuse my voice, I'm still getting over this, this cold. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about Russell Simmons and the rape allegations. And you might be sitting here wondering, but Chris, you do a channel about mental health and addiction recovery and things like that. Why are you talking about this? Well, one of the reasons is, is because Russell Simmons is one of the people out there who I really look up to and for a variety of reasons. If you follow my channel, you know, I talk a lot about meditation, mindfulness, and genuinely just being a good person. I talk about a lot of the books I've read and something I've been really dragging on is making some videos about the amazing books that Russell Simmons has written. Um, Russell Simmons is somebody who follows um, uh, Buddhist philosophy, he is into yoga, really into transcendental, uh, transcendental meditation, um, he's a vegan, he's a philanthropist, he's always donating and he's helping starting schools and all sorts of stuff. So he's, with all the allegations that have come out ever since Harvey Weinstein and the Me Too movement and just celebrities and producers and directors and everybody in Hollywood um, dropping like flies, like all of them, like to be honest with you, like I'm like, yeah, you know, like I'm not also that surprised. Uh, you know, I'm of the belief that we as a society, we hold these people up on these high pedestals for this, um, this skill they have to act and entertain or make music or, you know, produce or direct movies and things like that. And they're just somebody who has a skill that's getting shown out to the world. But Russell Simmons is one that has hit me because he is legitimately a good dude. So, I just kind of wanted to talk about this and I want to make it very clear like the way I see all of these accusations like whenever a new story comes out like we have to treat everyone as if they are true when a woman comes forward or even we've had some men come forward we we have to believe them we have to believe them we got to go through the process of finding out if it's true and things like that a lot of people have come forward and said yeah you know what that is true harvey weinstein went off to some sex rehab no who knows what's even going on with that uh louis ck came out and he said yes these things are true um and you know even kevin spacey you know said that there was some truth behind those allegations uh, but anyways, Russell Simmons is saying that this is completely not true at all. He has stepped away from um, his businesses and the NYPD is actually doing an investigation. Now, something I won't get too far into if you're just popping in to find out the recent updates, like, so apparently they are doing a, you know, uh, an investigation on Russell Simmons, which hasn't really come up for any of the other people who have been um, getting outed recently. You know, they're just getting fired or, you know, they have to resign or quit or, you know, whatever the case is. But this is the first one where there's actually an investigation being open. So here's just where, where I'm at with it. Um, some of you have seen my other videos, like, all my videos, like I talk about how I was a, a drug addict, um, alcoholic, I was a very terrible person. I even made a video, which I will link up in the info card, talking about can men change or can people change? And this is something that is a little bit, you know, it's unfortunately controversial and in no way am I apologizing for anything anybody has done in their past, you know, not even myself. I just work hard at creating a better future and being a better person on a daily basis. Um, but when it comes to Russell Simmons and I've read some of his books and things like that, he, he is somebody who, you know, grew up in the hip hop culture. Um, that's what it was. And these allegations, you know, from the 90s and things like that, like, again, not excused in any way at all, but he he's a much different person since finding yoga and meditation and, um, you know, becoming a father and all these other things. So, like, this is where, you know, we really need to talk about, you know, what... Um, you know, are people forgiven? Can they change? But, you know, in any case, where we are right now, today is December 16th, 2017, and there's no, um, no, like, he hasn't admitted to it and he hasn't been caught. There hasn't been evidence that's come out. But, like, here's, here's something else that's been going on. Like, uh, some of you might have saw that, um, 
uh, Morgan Spurlock, the guy from, uh, you know, uh, Super Size Me, he came out and he's trying to get ahead of this thing. Like, whoa, 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 I did some really crappy stuff to women in the past. Here's what I did and I'm putting it out there. Some other people are doing that too. And like, that's that's kind of where, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what, what, what these guys should do in this situation. Now, first thing I will say for all of you guys out there, like, if you have been a crappy dude like your your whole life, like now is probably a good time to change because we live in a time where everybody's everything is out there. Like, so there's no secretively doing this anymore. Like people are like getting out in left and right. So if you needed an excuse to become a good person, now is the time to do it. But I would figure, I would figure somebody like Russell Simmons what he should have done, if 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 he is guilty of these things, what he should have done is, he should have come out years ago and talked about it. He should have done something. He should have faced the jail time he had to face. He should have, you know, did whatever he needed to do to do this. And, you know, I, I really hate to say it because I try to keep mental health stuff and addiction recovery stuff completely separate, but like you've heard me talk about Russell Brand's book, Recovery, and he really talks about how this 12-step program is something that can better just about anybody. Um, another video I recently did was about how to forgive yourself, and part of the process of forgiving yourself is going and making amends to other people. For those of you who picked up on that, that is part of 12-step programs, you know? And this is, this is something that, you know, if you are working one of those programs, you know that that's just part of the deal. You don't get to just change your life while other people are still suffering and you hurt them in the past. It is part of your program to be completely spiritually fit to go back and make these amends in one way, shape, or form, right? And so if Russell Simmons is guilty of this, like, you know, that's where it's kind of like, you know, I, I like programs like Refuge Recovery, where it blends in Buddhist philosophy with 12-step programs, you know what I mean? like. All I can say is, if you're somebody out there watching this and you've done some terrible things in your past, like, you better get started on righting your wrongs. That's that's all I can say. Like, not only so you can go to sleep with a clear conscience, but that way you're not inducing your own anxiety because of these secrets that you're keeping. Um, I, If you're not yet, I will put another link to my Instagram because I hope you're following me on Instagram. But I just made a post yesterday on Instagram where I said, honesty is the best anti-anxiety medication. Like if you're somebody who struggles with anxiety and you're holding in secrets, lies, things that you're feeling guilty about, like, being honest is a great way to get rid of your anxiety. Like I couldn't imagine holding on to certain secrets for so long. That's another part of 12 step programs is that one of the steps is airing out your dirty laundry to another person, to another human being. And then when you get to the amends portion of it, you go and make amends whenever you can, except when to do so would injure that person, would make the situation worse for that person. And that's why you have somebody who kind of guides you along and lets you know how to make that decision. But anyways, like, um, yeah, like I said, the reason I'm doing this is Russell Simmons is actually somebody I look up to as a good human being in this, you know, in society in general, like on a global level, just a genuinely good human being. So if this comes out to be true, you know, we'll go from there. But um, I might make a follow up once we get some more information, but I'll put some links to some of the news down below. Um, but yeah, it, that's pretty much all I got today. I'm trying to get over this, uh, this sickness still. But anyways, I would love to know what your thoughts are on Russell Simmons down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click the little round subscribe button right below this box. My videos are usually about helping you uh, overcome symptoms of mental illness, um, emotional issues, addiction recovery. So go ahead and click the subscribe. Also, be sure to click or tap on one of those thumbnails. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.